Kardashian is following and hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi Michaela. And if you are new here, welcome back. I miss you so much, gang. I can sing, right? I know. But I know you guys are probably very angry at me because last video I said I was gonna be consistent with uploading and I hadn't uploaded in months. But it's a new year, which means new me, new content, more videos, and consistent uploading. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> but for today's video, I'm just gonna be doing the video my old outfits challenge. Basically, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to be putting a picture of me here in a specific outfit. I'm going to be telling you the time period, what I was doing, um, you know, rating the outfit, and just telling you if I would wear it again. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend, tell a family member, and make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you get notified when I upload next, which will be very soon. And without further ado, let's get into this video. If the lighting or the background or the angle changes, I apologize in advance. Just bear with me. I'm recording on my phone. The ghetto but for the first outfit we have this one i don't even know how old i was but it's the being a young drip god for me Purr. but i really like this outfit it's the the jordans the 11s with the leather jacket and the clutch for me i don't even know where i was going like my mother just had me looking like i don't even know what like up to par but i'm gonna rate this outfit a 10 out of 10 because it's simple it's cute i was cute and i would definitely wear this again y'all about to cut me for the second outfit yo don't screenshot none of this because y'all know my birthday coming up but for the second outfit we have this one it's not bad but it's the silver jordan sixes for me <laughs> um it's the polo shirt, you know, the jeans. It match or whatever. It's the pose for me. But I'm going to give this outfit an 8 out of 10. I don't know where I was going. I think I was going to a party or something. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10 because I, I, I would not wear those jeans. I don't think they were comfortable. I don't really remember. I didn't really have a choice when I was younger. But the shoes, I don't think I would wear those now. As I said, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, though. I got hungry. He fucking that shit up. <laughs> oh, God. Stop. But for the third outfit, we got this one. I was going on vacation. I don't remember where I was going. I think I was going to Jamaica or something. Um, I like this fit. You know, the ones in match or whatever. The white jeans. I don't really like white jeans now. They get dirty fast. But I'm going to give this outfit a 9 out of 10. I would definitely wear something like this. This is dead, like a chill fit. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too hot. So yeah, outfit number four, we have this one. This was like in 2015, 2016, I'm not sure. It's the flower crown for me, the overall aesthetic. I used to dress like a boy, like, yo, I would not ever wear jeans. Like, I hated jeans so much. They were just uncomfortable to me. But what I see in the Snapchat memories is that sweater. Like, I would never take it off or something. I'm not understanding. But this fit is calm or whatever. It's nothing bad to it. I don't know why that's a Chicago Bulls sweater, but you know, whatever. I miss those old black twelves. Y'all would call those the black nasties now. The black nasty. Those was those was heat. Those would go with everything. I'm gonna give this outfit mm, nine out of, nine out of ten. Yeah, yeah, nine out of ten. Cause it's chill. It's nothing too bad. It's the pose for me. But yeah, it's not bad. I just wouldn't wear the flower crown like. Or a Chicago Bulls sweater. I'd probably wear a Lakers sweater. Or or a Nets sweater, but we're not we're not doing the Nets this year. Lakers in six. I know y'all see how this angle keeps changing, and I'm not apologizing again because I told y'all before. But this is kind of like the second round, if you want to call it. Basically, the first round was like when I was like young, like four to like ten. And now this is gonna be like eleven to maybe 12 and then like i'll do my summer or fall fits from this year last year so yeah um this fifth outfit i think i was for my birthday um i think i turned 12 because i think i was in the sixth grade i mean, this is an easy fit i mean it's nothing really to say about it the space jams the track suit i mean it's not really to say about it i'm gonna get this like a calm seven because i don't know I kind of don't like the tracksuit now, like the suit. I don't know. It just, I don't know. It's not something that I would personally wear for my birthday now, but I was young then and I was chilling, so I'm going to let it slide. Okay, so this is the sixth outfit. This was in the seventh grade, and it was on the 4th of July, like in the summer. Um, There's nothing really to say about this outfit. It's not bad, but like, 
I don't know, like I would wear this now. That's why I was wearing white shorts, you know, I don't like white bottoms. But it's, it's calm. Nobody really wears fanny packs anymore. I mean, that's the only thing. Like, nobody wears fanny packs anymore in New York. Like, you just get like a little bag, you know what I'm saying? Or a little like clutch or something. But you don't really see people with fanny packs anymore. That's kind of like dead now. But yeah, this is calm. I'm gonna give this an eight. It's not bad, but it's not popping like how my style is now so yeah okay so for the seventh outfit we have this one this was in the beginning of eighth grade i mean the fanny pack is killing me like it matches because i have a champion sweatsuit on but the fanny pack is mad big and the one thing i don't like about this fanny pack is that like you know how it like you clip a fanny pack it was it would not stay around my waist like you know how like i'm kind of skinny or whatever so it would not stay around my waist so i would just hold it like a like that the Concords, they're crisp because I just had got them. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 because that's calm. Like, how, what's, come on now. It ain't nothing better than that for a calm fit. I was going to my aunt's birthday party at my other aunt's house, so it wasn't nothing too special or nothing too bad. It was just, just right. For the eighth outfit, we have this one. This was like the summer of ninth grade. Like, I was just about to go into ninth. That makes sense? Yeah. So... I like this fit. It's cute. The shirt is cute. I remember I had wore out another time, but my hair wasn't done, so I had to rewear that shirt because when my hair's not done, oh child. Anyways, mm. but the shirt is cute. The jean skirt is cute. The fanny pack. Um, the Vans it match with the shirt. Nobody wears Vans no more in New York City either because when you think about it, like Vans with the type of stuff that you know we wear now, like it just don't look right. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know talk down on nobody who has vans because vans are not bad we was all wearing vans at one point but they just not in style no more i'm gonna give this um a 9 out of 10 too because it's not even like it was cute i took cute pictures in it like <laughs> it's not bad i just don't wear vans anymore so yeah so now this is gonna be like this summer and fall because it's only two more outfits i'm gonna do because i'm not about to do od but this is the ninth outfit it's something about this outfit this one has to be my favorite outfit of the summer because it was the end of the summer too it's something about the tube top the bag the hair the shoes and the background matching first of all the background matching wasn't even planned that's how you know i got it like that me and my gusset suffer we went to some ice cream shop in new york it's called the milk and cream bar you should go try that out it's mad good but yeah we had went there and like they always have like themes or whatever and the theme that time was teenage mutant ninja turtles you know that they're green and i happened to wear a green fit this is an 11 out of 10 20 out of 10 immaculate it it don't get no better than that 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 has to be my favorite summer outfit and you can see like as like you know the video goes by you see the different outfits like i've really matured this outfit is the one Okay, so for the last outfit, the 10th outfit, we have this one. This had to be my favorite outfit of the fall. Like, I think I could just see, like, my favorite outfits and why they're my favorite outfits because of how good that they match. Like, the hat, the cropped bubble coat, the shoes, the shirt. Like, when, you, when you're when you making outfits, like, you got to put the little things together. And the little accessories, they just set it off. Like, 11 out of 10 immaculate as well like there's nothing else to really say about this this is calm calm drip if you'll be thinking in new york oh you gotta put this on the drip big stuff or big stuff first of all it don't even be y'all money like i ain't hating on nobody but like like that's not my business though oh, yeah, hate them upstairs. but yeah um this is something calm like this is like the same shoes from like the eighth outfit and they still look good so yeah, that's a that's an immaculate outfit right there. I really messed with that one. And I'm gonna do a bonus one. You know, a little bonus. Now the bonus outfit is this one. I really like this one. I went to the same ice cream place with Sephir once again. And we just be going places. But it's that one. It's nothing, it's calm. Like all my fits be calm, but swagged. You know what I mean? The Brooklyn, I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah the the collar the pants the shoes like the poles the background the headband like it's nothing really to say just as long as you you know what i'm saying you put the outfit right you pose right you get a good background your pictures will come out fleek 
I'm gonna give this also an 11 out of 10, immaculate. Like, hmm, see, but look, I'm gonna do an update of it. Nah, another one of my YouTube videos coming soon is gonna be my birthday vlog. Y'all, y'all gonna see the fits there. That's gonna be an 100 out of 10, a different breed. Y'all not even ready for that. That's all I have for this week's video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell so you get notified when I upload next week because I will be uploading weekly. As you can see, I got my ring lay. I got my whole setup ready for y'all. The background, I'm finishing it. Don't worry. But yeah, don't screenshot none of these pictures because y'all like playing with me. Like, it's not even funny. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good week. Kardashian out!